Hello everyone. So let us continue this, the discussion on attributes in this part of our video. So we were discussing uh, the classification of attributes. So this is an example of a composite and a multi-valued attribute at, at the same time. So if you see on this slide, you can see that the product is uh, product, product has been identified as an entity type and product ID is, is the key. Uh, it's basically the officially selected key for, for this entity and so it is uh, underlined and is bold faced and then you can see these curly brackets on this attribute price history. So these curly brackets represent that this price history basically is a multi-valued attribute which means that we can have more than one price histories against one product ID and, and this uh, attribute is a composite attribute at, at the same time and this composite attribute consists of the effective date and price and, and these curve brackets show that this uh, price history is basically a composite attribute. So here this is an example, excellent example of, of a composite and a multi-valued attribute at, at the same time. Now we are going to learn something about the degree of relationships, okay. So relationship that we have, we just have learned that relationships are the logical associations uh, that can exist between entities and they, that they can be relationship types and relationship instances. So if we are modeling the relationship between two entity types, then that would be a relationship uh, type. While if we are modeling that relationship between two different entity instances, then that would be referred to as a relationship instance. So now we are going to discuss and to uh, learn something about the degree of relationships. So basically degree of relationship shows us that how many entity types are participating in that particular relationship. So based upon the number of entity types which are participating in a relationship, we can have a unary relationship and a binary and a ternary relationship. So let us uh, uh, see the notations which are used in entity relationship diagram in order to uh, represent uh, the, these degrees. So this uh, uh, you can see that this here in this example you can see that an entity is having a relationship with its, itself. So this basically is a unary degree relationship and here you can see that this line is between two entity types. So this basically is showing a binary degree relationship and similarly you can see that these lines they basically are connecting three different entity types. So basically the degree of this particular relationship is, is ternary. So let us try to understand these all these three one by one. Okay, so dear students, let's just try to understand this concept with the help of uh, examples. So the first degree is unary degree, as I told you. A unary degree is a degree in which only one entity type participates. So it can be perceived as if an entity has a self-relation, relationship, sorry. Um, self-relationship means that if, if, for example, we have detected a relationship that we are trying to model, and if that relationship is between two objects and both of those objects they belong to same entity type as per our modeling then that relationship would be a unary degree relationship okay so let's uh, try to understand this with the help of the same example that we are uh, continuing in all of our videos that is the uh, database design of a small classroom so we detected subject as an entity type over there okay so for example uh, subject has been modeled as, as an entity type. Okay, so this is, for example, we have ordered it as a subject and now a relationship has been identified that a subject is a prerequisite for another subject. Okay, uh, so for example, a relationship instance has been detected that XYZ is a prerequisite for ABC. And for example, the client organization is interested in storing the data about this relationship. So because now both the objects or both the entity instances which are participating in this particular relationship, which is for example, we are saying that XYZ is a prerequisite for ABC. Now XYZ and ABC, both of them, they belong to the subject entity type. Okay, so whenever there is such case that in a relationship in which we are interested, the participating objects, they belong to the same entity type 
then the degree of that relationship is a unary degree and that would be uh, shown like this in the uh, entity relationship diagram okay so we can use two different notations although we can use a diamond or we can use a line notation so this would be a notation used to represent a unary degree relationship which is a relationship of an entity with uh, itself okay so th th this is an example of that the second type of degree is uh, a relationship in which both the participating objects they belong to two different entity types okay so let's just try to continue the same example and for example there is for example there is there is a catalog okay and each and every subject has a catalog associated with that okay and there is a relationship between the subject and the catalog now this relationship would be a binary degree relationship and reason is that the participating objects they basically belong to two differently modeled entity types so the degree of this particular relationship is two okay so it's it's a binary degree relationship while the de degree of relationship of this particular relationship is one so this relationship is a unary degree relationship we can also have a ternary degree relationship which is a relationship in which more than two uh, 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 entity types are participating at the same time okay and and that's exactly three exactly three objects are participating in in a relationship and all of them they are participating in that particular relationship at the same time and all of the three objects they belong to three different entity instead uh, types so for example there is a relationship of subject with faculty member okay and student at the same time okay so for example this relationship is teaching relationship okay so we can model this relationship as, as a ternary relationship okay if if the whole activity of teaching is modeled in one relationship if it has to be modeled in one relationship it would be modeled as a ternary relationship why because a faculty member is teaching a subject to a student at the same time so we we are trying to store data like this that we are trying to model uh, these these three relationships uh, in actual these are three relationships okay so there is a relationship between faculty and student there is a relationship between student and subject there is a relationship between subject and faculty this is just a matter of modeling that we are modeling uh, uh, all of these activities in one go so we are modeling it as a ternary degree relationship so we have the provision of modeling a ternary degree relationship so this was all about the degree of the relationship so degree of the relationship tells us the number of participating entity types in that particular relationship okay so based upon the number we can have unary binary and ternary degrees we can also have an nary degree relationship an nary degree relationship is a relationship that has a degree higher than 3 okay so for example there is a situation there may be a situation in which we are trying to model a relationship uh, in one go in which four entity types are participating so that would be modeled as an nary uh, degree relationship so currently the topic that we are discussing is a degree of relationship and as i told you in the previous video that relation and relationship these are two totally different things in in the database world okay so this degree that we are currently learning this degree is degree of relationship there is a degree of relation as well uh, because i told you that relation is a table with some specific attributes so degree of relation is basically the number of columns of that relation this thing will be discussed in detail uh, once we discuss the uh, relation in our upcoming videos so this was all about the uh, degree of relationship